Radhika Talk Show. Let's learn together and grow. And today, it is a moment of extreme pleasure to welcome a very acclaimed doctor, Dr. Zulba Arora, who is present here with us and she will be answering some of our questions regarding today's topic, which is irregular periods during menstrual cycle. So, doctor, before jumping to the questions directly, please tell our viewers something about yourself. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Sulbha Arora. I am a gynecologist and IVF specialist practicing in Mumbai as an IVF and infertility specialist for the last 18 years. I am the clinical director of Nova IVF Fertility, Andheri, Mumbai. I have done my graduation and post-graduation from Mumbai itself and my fellowship in assisted reproductive techniques from Israel. Thank you, Doctor. And doctor, which moment would you say was the moment when you decided to become a doctor? Well, all throughout my school life, I was more interested in science than in other fields and particularly in biology. So during my 11th and 12th, I took up the science field and uh, from there onwards, I went on uh, to go for my MBBS admission. Till then, I just knew that I wanted to be a doctor, but I was not sure what kind of a doctor. In the first year of MBBS, we had all theoretical subjects, but in second year of MBBS, when we actually stepped into the clinical wards for the first time, the very first moment I stepped into an obstetric and gynecology ward, I just knew that after this, this is what I want to do. I want to be a gynecologist. I wasn't interested in being any other kind of a specialist doctor. The very first moment that I stepped into the ward, I knew that this was my calling. Yes, Doctor. So, moving on to the questions directly now. So, as the topic itself says, irregular menstrual cycles. So, Doctor, what exactly is an irregular menstruation cycle? Okay, so now we know that a period cycle is called a cycle. And why is that? Because when you get your period, the first day of your flow is counted as the first day of that particular cycle and approximately 28 days later you get your next period so from the first day of one period to the first day of the next period is called a cycle and because it repeats every month is why the word cycle is used now although you must have commonly heard 28 days and 30 days that you should get your period this is only an average number it's not compulsory that it should come every 28 to 30 days so what is considered regular and what is considered irregular as long as your next period comes 21 to 35 days from your current period it is considered regular but if you are getting your periods more frequently than 21 days that means it's hardly three weeks or less and your next period has already started that is considered irregular similarly once you get your period if the next period doesn't start till 35 days or more, then it is considered irregular. So a cycle length which is less than 21 or more than 35 days is called irregular periods. And doctor, what causes irregular periods? There are a number of reasons why a woman may have irregular periods. Now, there are certain situations where irregular periods are a part and parcel of the normal physiology. What do we mean by that normal physiology? Now, when a girl first starts getting her period in her teenage years, it may take two or three years for the body to set into a regular pattern. So when her periods have just started initially, what we call puberty, at that time having irregular periods is a common finding. Similarly, at the menopausal transition, now what do we mean by menopausal transition? Menopause means when your periods have stopped permanently. The average age for menopause in India is around 46 years. But before the menopause, approximately 4 years before, something called the menopausal transition starts and during this transition it is common to find irregular periods and although for most women this may occur three or four years before the actual menopause for some women it can start much before that also even seven or eight years before the actual menopause 
another time when you may find irregular periods which is not due to a disease but it's because of the physiological process is immediately after delivery when a woman is breastfeeding at that time she may not get her period for a few months or she may get very delayed periods again this is a natural mechanism that the body has in place it is kind of like a natural contraception because during that period she has just delivered she's already feeding one baby and nature doesn't want her to quickly conceive again so nature has put into place a mechanism where while the breastfeeding is going on she may not be regularly ovulating that means the egg which should be forming in her ovary and releasing at the time of ovulation that process stops for a while and because of that the period stops for a while so these are some of the natural situations apart from this there are certain hormonal problems which can cause irregular periods the commonest hormonal disturbance in the reproductive age group is what we call PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome and PCOS is very commonly associated with irregular periods delayed periods absent periods periods that don't come without taking a tablet reduced duration of flow and scanty menses other hormonal problems that can cause irregular period include irregularities or imbalances in the thyroid and the prolactin hormones apart from the hormonal disturbances there are certain lifestyle factors that can cause irregular periods for example excessive stress uh, you know sudden travel plans anything that has disrupted your schedule too much of exercise sudden weight loss sudden weight gain why these things cause irregular periods is because the part of the brain that regulates your period cycle gets influenced by these events and therefore these can cause irregularities in your period cycle as well then there are certain medicines for example antidepressants or anti epileptics that can cause your periods to become irregular also certain kind of contraception especially the intrauterine contraceptive devices like the lng the hormonal contraceptive device which is commonly known as mirena if this has been inserted it can cause the periods to get uh, scanty get delayed or even to stop so these are some of the common reasons why irregular periods can occur okay doctor and doctor is the menstrual cycle length normal to vary from one month to another yes certain uh, differences from month to month are quite common not just from woman to woman but even for one woman from one cycle to another it may be 28 days in one month it may be 30 or 32 days in the other month but as long as this is a pattern that has always been there it's all right if you notice any sudden changes in pattern especially like i mentioned if it is too much of a difference for example less than 3 weeks you're getting your next period or more than 35 days your next period hasn't come only then it is a cause for concern otherwise minor variations from month to month are normal okay doctor and doctor is it normal to have 1.5 months cycle of menstruation cycle 1.5 months if you have not got your cycle that means it is 45 days and that is not actually normal that does uh, qualify as an irregular period and that does tell us that there may be an underlying cause because of which the period hasn't come for 45 days Uh, scanty periods can be a sign of an ovulation or a hormonal disturbance very heavy periods can be a sign of an underlying problem for example if you have a polyp or fibroids in your uterus these are common causes of heavy bleeding if you have always had a normal flow and suddenly now you find that your flow has become very heavy there are clots that you're having to change your pad every couple of hours then this is a sign that you should consult your doctor and get a checkup done to find out if there is any cause which can be treated 
that is leading to this kind of a heavy flow. Okay, doctor. And doctor, should a woman be worried about irregular periods if she is having the same? Uh, well, uh, there are certain situations where I wouldn't say worry, but you should definitely consult your doctor. Now, for example, if you've always had regular periods and then you've suddenly missed one, especially in this cycle, if you've had unprotected relations, you must consult your doctor. First and foremost, it could be a pregnancy. Then, supposing your periods have always been regular and now suddenly you are finding very irregular cycles or you are not getting cycles for, you know, 2, 2, 3, 3 months. If the duration of the absence of period is too long, for some women it can go up to 5 or 6 months. Sometimes they don't get a period without taking a tablet. If you find associated hormonal changes. Now, what are associated hormonal changes? Supposing you have sudden weight gain or sudden weight loss. If you have excessive hair growth on your face and on your body, if you have acne and pimples, if you have all these signs along with irregular periods, then these all signify an underlying problem that may need to be treated. And these are the cases where you should consult your doctor. Okay, doctor. And doctor, which signs depict that an irregular period is really severe for the woman? Again, uh, kind of uh, like what I just mentioned, supposing your cycle is too delayed, it goes into 3-3-4-4 three, three, four, four months, supposing you don't get your period without taking a tablet and if you have all these associated hormonal disorders, lots of weight gain or acne or hirsutism, that means excessive hair growth, then these are the cases where it is a bit more severe and you, it, in all likelihood you will require some treatment to correct your hormonal imbalance. So doctor, if a woman who has PCOS notices the clots during periods, then what should she do? In PCOS, very often it may happen because of very long durations of absence of period sometimes when we do an ultrasound we see a very thickened endometrium and when the period finally comes because the endometrium is built up so much it is going to shed so much and therefore that period flow may be heavier than normal or it may be accompanied with clots and uh, when there is very heavy flow it can it lead to other problems such as weakness and anemia also a very heavy flow can also be a sign of other associated problems inside the uterus so if you have very heavy flow especially with the passage of a large amount of clots you should meet your doctor and get a checkup done to find out what could be the underlying cause so it's time for a short break now we will be back in few minutes medication so and she's experiencing the irregular periods so is there a correlation between these two there is definitely a correlation between the thyroid hormone and the regularity of the menstrual cycle if you are already a known case of hypo or hyperthyroidism that means too less or too high thyroid hormones in your body for which you are on medication and then you find that your period flow is irregular, you should consult your doctor and get your thyroid hormone levels checked because maybe the dose that you are taking needs to either be reduced or increased based on the blood levels of your thyroid hormones. And it may be irregular because the dose is not correct for you. Okay, doctor. And doctor, how do ovarian cysts affect the periods? Some ovarian cysts can secrete excessive hormones and again because of that secretion of a hormone that disrupts the normal balance of the menstrual cycle, they can also cause a delayed period. 
Okay, doctor. And doctor, can fibroids affect the period cycle? Fibroids don't affect the regularity of the period cycle. A fibroid is a lump which is present in your uterus. The period cycle, the regularity of the period cycle is controlled by the pituitary and the ovaries, but not by the uterus. So if there is a lump inside your uterus, your cycle length is not going to become large or come too frequently. But yes, if fibroids are there inside the uterus, they can cause pain, they can cause heavy bleeding. These are symptoms which are commonly associated with fibroids, though irregular menses are not associated with fibroids. When a woman stops taking the birth control pill, first of all, in every cycle, the minute you stop your 20 or 21 day birth control pill, usually in the next 4 or 5 days, your next period will start. Now, if you want to stop the birth control pill because you want to start planning a pregnancy, when you stop the pill from the very next month itself, usually the ovulation restarts. So, your fertility returns back almost immediately after the pill has been stopped. Okay, doctor. And doctor, what is lactational amenorrhea? Lactational amenorrhea refers to the absence of period while a woman is breastfeeding. As I explained before, this is a time where a natural contraception is required by the body. The woman has just given birth. She is already healing from the pregnancy and the delivery and so soon her body is not yet ready for another pregnancy. So nature has beautifully put a natural birth control into place that while she is feeding her baby, usually ovulation doesn't occur. If ovulation doesn't occur, the period doesn't occur. Amenorrhea means absence of period and lactational amenorrhea means absence of period due to breastfeeding. Okay, doctor. Doctor, how can a woman be prepared for her menstrual cycle? Especially in cases where the period cycles are usually irregular because you just don't know when the next one might come. It's always a good idea to carry uh, sanitary hygiene products like pads or tampons or if you use a menstrual cup, always in your bag because you don't want to be caught by surprise that you weren't expecting it and you're out in a public place and suddenly the flow has started and you don't know what to do. Even if you're going on a trip, then it is better to always carry extra pads or extra tampons for the duration of that trip because you don't know when it might start. And uh, even if on a day-to-day -day basis, if you know that you know now a month has passed and after this the period can come anytime, in addition to carrying your tampon and your pad, you can also always carry an extra underwear in your bag with you. So that if you are ever caught in an emergency situation, you are ready with all your products that you need to take care of yourself in that situation. Okay doctor. And doctor, what tablet should a woman take for painful periods? Uh, first of all, uh, if your periods are painful, uh, there are a lot of over-the-counter painkillers that you can take but you should first always consult your doctor, consult a gynecologist to find out the cause of pain. If the pain is due to, as I mentioned, something like a fibroid or due to another condition called endometriosis which can also cause a lot of pain during periods, you may need to get that treated first. But if everything is normal and you still have pain during period, which is also common, then there are a lot of antispasmodics and painkillers which are available over the counter that you can take for the duration of the period flow till you have the pain for two or three days. Alright doctor. Other things that you can do is use hot water bags because even that can help and uh, sometimes even lying down and resting helps for the cramps to pass. How can a woman 
women make her periods less stressful if the stress during your periods is because of pain then as i mentioned just now you need to find out the cause for the pain you can take tablets to reduce the pain if the stress is due to mood swings then there are a few things that have helped like increasing your water intake reducing your salt intake just before and during your period because this also helps in reducing the physical sensation of bloating it also helps to some extent to reduce your stress and you need to focus on things that make you happier for example de-stress methods whether it is spending time with a hobby that you love whether it is doing some kind of a light to moderate exercise because exercises release endorphins that are automatically stress busters they make you feel happier they make you less stressed sometimes yoga may help for some women meditation may help for some other women spending time with family or friends or your pets pets are magical they are therapeutic so things that help you to feel happier are the things that you should spend time doing when you know that your period is approaching and you're feeling edgy just before the start of your period or during your period and always remember that it's transient it will pass it's not a permanent feeling as soon as the period flow starts a lot of women start feeling better or once two or three days of the flow have finished you automatically start feeling better so you just need to hang in there for those three or four days yes doctor and doctor can a woman get pregnant if she is having or her period is irregular a woman can get pregnant even if her periods are irregular because irregular periods can occur due to absence of ovulation but they may also occur due to delayed ovulation now as i told you our body has been programmed in such a way that when ovulation occurs 15 days later the period flow starts so when your period is delayed it means either ovulation didn't occur that's why the period didn't come because if a won't happen b won't happen the body keeps waiting for ovulation so it doesn't start the period flow but it may also happen that ovulation occurred just not at the expected time so instead of occurring on the 13th or 14th day it went ahead and occurred on the 25th or the 28th day for example and if relations have taken place at that time she may still get pregnant even though that cycle would have otherwise been irregular in the absence of pregnancy okay doctor and doctor how do irregular periods affect the pregnancy because you cannot predict the time of ovulation in case of irregular periods you don't know how to time your intercourse now usually you know for couples who are trying to get pregnant naturally and following the calendar method the fertile period starts 3 or 4 days before ovulation and it ends one day after ovulation so for a woman who has a 28 day cycle which means she's ovulating around the 13th or the 14th day her fertile period starts approximately from the 10th or the 11th day of the cycle and ends at around the 16th day so she knows that from the 10th to the 16th day that is the one week where she is the most fertile and the relation should be planned at that time but for a woman whose cycles are irregular and she cannot predict when ovulation will occur she doesn't know how to time the relations to ensure that she doesn't miss the ovulation period and then there may be some months in which she doesn't ovulate at all and therefore her time to pregnancy may get delayed like somebody with regular menses might conceive sooner compared to somebody with irregular menses because the uh, intercourse may not be happening at the fertile time and some months may not have a fertile time There are a lot of apps available. You can even mark it physically on a calendar, or you can download an app in which you have to enter the first day of your cycle. You have to enter the days you had bleeding, the days you had spotting, and then you enter the next day of your cycle. 
so over a period of time the app develops an algorithm where it is able to predict for you when you can expect your next period to start okay doctor thank you doctor for sharing your information views on it and i hope this session was really helpful and beneficial to all the lovely viewers out there so before leaving doctor is there anything else that you would like to share with your viewers as far as we are talking about menstruation one very important message that i would like to give you all to take back home is that break the stigma menstruation is a normal part of the body's functioning just like how when we eat food we pass stools when we drink water we pass urine menstruation is just another form of excretion from the body part and parcel of the reproductive system without which it cannot function unfortunately in our country there is a lot of stigma attached to it women are afraid to even speak up because they feel shy they don't know who to talk to so there are so many women who suffer in silence so many girls who even when they get their first period are not aware that what was this what happened to us why is there suddenly blood so spreading the correct information is important removing the stigma is important breaking the silence around it is important and also remember that there is nothing impure associated with menstruation there are certain practices in our country that have been followed since many many years and when the practices had started our ancestors had good reason to start them for example if women were told not to enter the kitchen or you know not to do any household work it's because in that day and age painkillers were not available good enough sanitary hygiene products like pads and tampons were not available so not just were they suffering with cramps on top of that having to do household work obviously it was difficult secondly not entering kitchens not entering temples because you don't have pads or tampons your clothes are getting stained wherever you sit there is a foul smell or stains that you're leaving behind so obviously they were told to refrain from all these things just to keep that environment pure in the sense what is the meaning of pure in that situation that means you don't leave blood stains wherever you are that doesn't mean that menstruation is impure now fast forward to today we have very good painkillers available we have very good menstrual hygiene products available women who are athletes who are olympians they continue to run and swim and women go to work and they do everything and they never stain their clothes so now the reasons for those uh, practices or those prohibitions that were put in place are gone but unfortunately people have not understood why were these things prohibited why was it a taboo and they have somehow attached it to religion and made it a superstition so please understand the religion our ancestors were not wrong but those causes are now gone so those practices are now not required so we will see you in next session with another exciting topic till then to all the lovely viewers stay tuned stay happy and stay safe